Hey everybody, so today we are getting back to the roots. We're going back to my fragrance rotation or perfume rotation videos, which I've kind of been neglecting for a little bit. I've been filming other perfume related videos, but I haven't really been rotating my fragrances like I normally do. And today is the day we're going to get back into it. As you might know, if you're watching my channel, especially if your favorite videos are perfume video videos, then you're probably following pretty closely. I've had a haul fairly recently. Um, those perfumes I've had for a bit. Uh, the haul wasn't when I opened the box and got them. It was like more or less just an introduction of these perfumes into my um, collection and why I bought them and what did I get and what you can expect to see. So here's a video where you're seeing a lot of these new <laughs> fragrances that I picked up. Some of the oldies but goodies and some of amazing uh, wearable fragrances. So let's start with some of the new purchases and one of them is Chalimar Souffle de Lumière. Uh, this fragrance I've picked up because I love Chalimar. I've had a little bit of a difficulty with Chalamar Souffle de Parfum. I can wear it and I really enjoy it, but I can't wear it many days in a row because I get a little bit tired of it. Um, I s assume so far, I've, I've tried it on a limited basis and I haven't really been reaching for it all that much when I'm I've been reaching for perfume off that shelf, the one that I'm introducing to you today. I really haven't been reaching for Lumiere as much. Um, for me, it is an everyday scent, but there's something about it that just bothers me a small small little bit. Um, I think pro possibly this is one of my least favorite Chalamars so far. I'm still trying to wear it in, break it in, understand it, really dissect it, really uh, get my nose to working on this particular little gem and I probably will appreciate it with time but I need more time with it, which is why I put it into this fragrance rotation. I just need more time with it and then we'll see. I'll do a separate review on that one. It is a Chalamar fragrance, very, very much based on Chalamar Souffle de Parfum. There are some differences, but really they're within the same vein. I will go into details right later. Another just amazingly successful purchase, and I knew it was going to be a success because I've never in my life been disappointed with Narciso um, Rodriguez, and this is Narciso Rodriguez, Narciso Rouge. Um, as, al as always, beautiful, gorgeous, elegant, and dense musk with a very beefy, juicy velvety florals it's a uh, it's a handful of a perfume and i think very very elegant and womanly this is very much leaning on the feminine side everything from the packaging to the composition is brilliant i've really been reaching quite a bit for this um, needs a light hand for application which is great because it lasts longer and because i was so obsessed with the rouge that i just recently acquired I couldn't help but go back to the basics, <laughs> go back, going back to basics to the original Ernestis or other parfum. This is a milky, milky, musky floral as well, but it's a totally different vibe from the Rouge. Both of them are musky florals. This is a very, very different, uh, much creamier vibe to the fragrance, and it's one of my very favorite fragrances to ever exist. I love it, and I will always have this particular one in my collection because it is just such a, a must-have for me so I could not include it into this rotation another noob in my collection is this Mac creme de nude I um, I've mentioned already in the haul that I was surprised and absolutely impressed with the formulation of this fragrance this is not my normal jam really this is an amber based very sweet scent which normally I would probably find a bit juvenile, however this is everything but. Definitely an elegant play on those notes that just can lean super girly and cheap, let's, let's be honest, oftentimes. This is definitely not one of those cheapies, this is a quality amber um, with a lot of sweetness and even a sugary sensation, but it's, it, it doesn't feel gross. It feels very wearable and the ember and musk combo that we see here sits on skin just so ever naturally um, it wears down into beautiful skin scent this is not the most long-lasting thing ever but it does wear down so gorgeously it doesn't necessarily transform into a variety of different unexpected scents but it's just so elegant and thoughtful and gentle and it fades away with grace very very nice and I think so wearable such a wearable wearable combination of uh, 
um, ingredients that you most certainly can wear it to work in low concentrations. You can pump it up and with three sprays you can go out on a date and it'll be appropriate. You can go out for supper with a couple of sprays and that will be appropriate. It's just beautiful, thoughtful formulation. Good job MAC, very impressed. Now let's talk about fragrances that aren't so new but I couldn't wait to include. Cardamom coffee is something I picked up in the spring and it was appropriate for early spring but really this is a fall scent, definitely. It smells exactly like coffee with cardamom and a bit of milk, perhaps, or cream. It's very cozy, very wearable. Because it's a solid fragrance, and this is Cardamom Coffee by Gorilla Perfume. This is sold at Lush if you're interested. Um, I really think that their solid fragrances are a whisper skin scent version of their fragrances and their liquid fragrances are much more concentrated and very kabam which i love and i will be getting this fragrance once i run out in the solid version i will be getting it in a full sort of spray form because that's just so much more impactful but really i got the solid perfume to try it out and i'm happy to, to have done so i am impressed with the scent but i do want it in the liquid form another fragrance which i'm having difficulty with which and which is why i included it into this rotation is eau de maison by clarence this guy gives me the same vibes as the original opium lots of spices very heavy very vintage inspired uh, fragrance and it is vintage formulated this is not a new scent obviously and you can smell that it's vintage in a very nice way very very spicy very full of herbs and i think definitely a perfume of its time if you enjoy those heavy uh spices and like a brick of spices and you like the opium original i think this is going to be your jam if you like um, black opium, no, don't go here. You might not love it at all. Um, I'm having difficulty wearing it. I don't necessarily reach for it a whole lot. I did use up maybe a fifth of a bottle. There's some perfume missing, so I really was working on it at one point, and it's very much a fall fragrance, so very appropriate. I'm trying to give myself a chance to fall in love with this particular vintage. Um, the bottle itself is not vintage, the bottle is new, but the fragrance formulation and the, um, the sort of vibe of the perfume is definitely vintage. So I'm really interested to see how this plays out. I don't know. Um, if I really don't get along with it, I might declutter it for my collection. You'd be surprised, but some of the perfumes I declutter because it's just not my thing and I think other people might enjoy it a little bit more. The last two are fantastic picks. It might be a little bit more difficult to get. Uh, the first one is the original Freak from Ilamasco, the little snail, super cute packaging. This is a nice wearable floral that basically wears down into a skin scent. It's elegant, it's not intrusive, it's easy to wear. I don't think it's a freak fragrance. I don't know what they were thinking when they um, named it. Not sure that it's justified, not, not particularly, but I still enjoy the fragrance and I think it's a nice daytime scent. I really like wearing it during daytime actually and it does smell like an elegant, mature, musky floral, um, a very interesting uh, wear down on it. It's not a usual floral wear down. I will make separate videos about every perfume that you see today because I actually don't believe I've spoken about any of them except for the white cube of Narciso, so go look at that if you want to. The absolute love for now. I'm obsessed with the scent. Currently, I wear it a lot. And this is Freak Scarab. Also from Ilamasca, as you can see, this is the original Freak, which I like for daytime. This is Freak Scarab. This was limited edition. And God help me, if I can't get my hands on it after I'm done with this bottle, I will be pretty gosh darn sad. If you know a place, where these are still stocked, I will be stoked. <laughs> Let me know because this is oh, so good. This is a wonderful formulation. I think that the nose who came up with this particular combination is genius. Um, I will tell you a little bit more about the nose when I film a full review on this guy. Um, and I fully am aware of the fact that it's hard to find, but it is so good. I think the, the quality is just superior, very, very good quality, niche quality for sure. But this is a sweet sugared plum that is delectable. It's delectable. I cannot 
even believe how much I'm in love with this pretty sweet scent, which is again unusual for me. I think I'm in a sweet phase of my uh, perfume journey at the moment probably, but um, I very much determine right away if the sweet scent is an elegant, beautiful, sexy, vampy, just person filled with personality kind of sweet scent, or is it an annoying, uh, cavity-inducing, gross sweetness and nothing else behind it sort of scent. This is definitely in the first category, I have to say. The sugared plum just drives me nuts. It's, it's just, it's irresistible. It's very beautiful. If you're a lover of sweet scents, I totally recommend this floral, floral fruity brew of magic. Totally recommend it. And then if you know where to get one, please let me know because I really want another one. I, I need a backup. I'm scared to, to, to use of this perfume. Clearly I will anyway. I'm not like holding on. I'm, I'm not keeping perfumes for the sake of keeping perfumes. But I wish this was not limited edition or I wish I could find something very similar to this because it is yummy and my husband enjoys this one tremendously i have to say um so there is uh, a lot going on in my fragrance rotation right now um it's probably more in terms of volume in terms of the amount of perfume that i'm using than usual and so the way i see it i have a couple of perfumes i'm experimenting with and i always like to have a couple of perfumes i'm experimenting with a couple of oldies but goodies narciso and the freaks these I know I love and I know I reach for and I'm absolutely stoked to have them out into active, active rotation. Two just beautifully delicious, elegant scents, um, the Narciso and the MAC. And one for really chilled out days, which is the Cardamom Coffee. I think this is such a chill, cozy fragrance. I love it for unassuming, quiet, cozy, intimate occasions. Um, this is not a sexy scent, but it is a super super cozy scent if we're talking about sexiness then something formal probably narciso um evening time i would layer up mac um in a decent dose to wear it out at night but if i really want to pump up the uh gas on, on, on the sexy train i will go with the elamasca freak scarab and that is kind of how i'm using the perfumes and the rest of them i'm really using for daytime um, and dosing accordingly so let me know what are your favorite classic or not classic just all-time favorite fall fragrances as well as which ones did you buy for this fall leave me down below this information if you wish um, let's talk about the scents that we're into and especially curious what your favorites are and what your noobs are and tell me um, I can't wait to hear about it that's it for today I hope it was fun for you to observe what is going on in my fragrance um, rotation nowadays and what I'm reaching for I think musky sweetness is where my head is at right now and I'm really happy about it because that's not usually the case but I'm I'm so stoked to have what I have out um, and I hope you really enjoyed it too that's it for today see you guys later have a wonderful day have a good time play with your fragrances layer them up and smell like fall cheers to you bye bye